We're finally here at the EV Festival and the sun's out and we've got the charge heads area just behind me looking really, really good. And I'm going to do some footage on what's here today, including the modified EVs, EV conversions that we've not seen before. So let's get into it. So here she is. She's a beaut, isn't she? start off with Michael's car because uh, it's a familiar car for those who watch the uh, drag race. You and me Michael, here it goes. Oh no, just, we did it at the same time, but he just gets that little bit of an edge. Oh hello, hello, hello. I'll put it up there actually because it's a very exciting video and um, if anyone's seen the short uh, it was uh, Michael behind the wheel that was uh, busting out the... Only lost once. It's Raining Men. Oh, so once. we're already talking about that. I only okay. lost once, but that was because I had a bit less battery than you. Yeah, so Michael's talk... Well, you have to watch the video <laughs> to, uh, to understand how a performance lost to a long range. Uh, but we won't, we won't dwell on we it. We won't talk about uh, that now. But yeah, Michael, tell us a bit about the uh, Test Model 3. Just give us a, a summary of uh, the parts you put on it and how you're enjoying it, really. So... It's a Model 3 Performance, 20, it's a 70 plate. Yep. It's got an aero kit on it. So they've got the front aero kit and the front and the side skirts aero kit. Um, but I wanted to retain the rear carbon fiber uh, look. Uh, it had the original carbon fiber spoiler, but as we all know that the lacquer on them isn't the greatest. Yeah, hence mine's missing at the moment because I've been playing around with spoilers, but yeah, watch this space. But no, this is a this is lovely, this carbon spoiler. So yeah, this, uh, the carbon fibre spoiler, is, uh, I think it's a V-tail or something like that. Yeah. Uh, that's from uh, CT Carbon in Biggleswade. Okay, yeah. Uh, so is the carbon fibre rear diffuser. That's from, very tasty. Uh, CT Carbon in Biggleswade. Yep. Um, the Tesla carbon fibre um, lettering is oh, from... Yeah. Uh, from AliExpress. Oh yes, our friends um, at AliExpress. Good stuff. I didn't like the, uh, the, the also the, the original Tesla number plate holders. Uh, oh they, yeah, yeah. They tend to bang every time you close the boot. Yes, so yes, mine I does. I got that, bin yeah. them off and and just stuck the plates on with uh, good old Gorilla 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 tape. And uh, any any more plans for it? Um, um, pillar delete. Okay, so um, similar to the one that we'll pop over exactly, and see yeah. in a minute. Ian's one. Um, windows tinted. Um, to make sure that you get the full window tint at the yes, back yes. rather than just the half. I think you're visiting the guy that did uh, Rusty's one. Yes. So, yeah, he does the full. And, again, um, there is an episode of that, so check it out. Probably uh, rear, light, rear light tint. Yep. Uh, and maybe I'm thinking about maybe a, a, a British racing green wrap. Nice. And I think you, you were mentioning about uh, perhaps some suspension as well on it. Yeah. So uh, at the moment, at uh, not that we do high speeds in these. Absolutely because it's, not. Uh, again, so normally in Mexico is the, uh, is the <laughs> Hello, place mate. we like to go a bit fast. On the track, it's a bit bumpy, so a bit bouncy. So I'm going to look at changing the suspension probably to what you, what did you say? Yeah, KW or Mountain Pass Performance or even yeah. on air. And we'll see the guys in a minute. Yeah. Cool. Nice one. Cheers, Michael. All right. So this is the Lotus Evora Tesla powered that we've uh, done in another video and I'll put that video up here. Russ uh, took us out in it and it was yeah amazing and he's done it all himself. Really awesome conversion. 
Now here's a car you don't see every day, the Fluence. It's great to see, uh, if people don't know about this car, this is kind of uh, uh, Renault Zoe kind of technology uh, car. It's not many about anymore, but it's a really early electric car done by Renault. Uh, it's actually really good to see it here. Now on charge heads, we don't often focus on motorbikes. However, I bumped into Burnell here and I couldn't stop to, well, I couldn't wait to ask him more questions about the EV conversion that he's done. And um, Burnell, tell us all about this Yamaha. Oh, it's a Yamaha YZF600R. Yeah. I've had it since 1999 as an ice bike. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, the reason for the conversion was the second gear gearbox issue, which is inherent with this engine after so many thousands of miles. Yeah. 35 roughly with this one. So I had every intention of fixing the bike, yep. which involves dropping the engine to get to the gearbox. After dropping the bike and seeing the mess of oil all over my floor in my garage, <laughs> yeah. I said, there's got to be a better way as I'm only commuting on the bike right. 20 miles a day. Yeah. So this started in 2011, the research. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. 2012 was when I started in anger tuned into the Isle of Man TT yeah and lo and behold they had the TT zero. Oh yes no I have heard of that actually. yeah which I hadn't which is weird because I love the Isle of Man did some more research found out people have been converting for decades stumbled across these guys in Australia who race converted bikes back oh, in 2012. Okay yeah yeah uh, the names of uh, Daniel Sailor Daniel Sailor aka Ripperton okay. and uh, Craig Jones. Yep researched them, researched all the bits, and it turns out that you can buy motors, inverters, DC, DC converters, all the components oh, wow. off the shelf. So what's the kind of spec of this? What's the motor size, the so battery pack, etc.? The motor is a Motenergy 1302. It's 30 kilowatts peak, 14 yep. kilowatts continuous with liquid cooling. Oh, wow. Okay. The battery pack in this model. Which is this, obviously, here. This box here. So there's five yep. Nissan Leaf. Gen, no way. Gen 4 modules in okay, there, yeah. which gives me a nominal voltage of 73 volts, Yeah. Uh, full cap uh, nominal capacity of 8.5 kilowatt hours. Okay, yeah. It's a Sevcon Gen 4 size 6 D uh, inverter in there. Yeah. I'm using a DC-DC converter for my 12 volts. There is no battery on this bike. Right. Uh, this was actually legally registered as an electric vehicle in 2013. Oh, wow. And I kept the tax disc. That's how long <laughs> ago it was. Yeah. And what sort of range do you get with the eight kilowatt hours? 50 miles before you really need to stop and charge. Especially with the rain that we had this morning. Uh, yeah, it was. I mean, I was taking it easy anyway, and it was cooler. Uh, so I would say with um, at 30 miles an hour, this bike will do 15 to 16 miles per kilowatt hour. Wow. Uh, okay. 40 miles an hour, it will do about 12 miles per kilowatt hour. At 50 miles an hour, you really in single figures. And have you got any more plans for this one or are you thinking about doing another one? What's, what's the plan? I've got an R1 on the go at home. Oh yeah. With similar motor to the Zero S. Yeah. Same controller, Gen 4 size 6. Yeah. I've got seven Nissan Leaf modules, which I've mocked up in two, uh, two packs. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be same voltage that Zero use. So my target is to match the OEMs as close as I can from a DIY aspect and uh, just to see how, how close I can get. So uh, once I've done the R1, mm. I've also got a Suzuki TSX90 rolling chassis in my garage, which I'll do eventually. Yeah. And then after that, I will do a ground up build based on your battery pack and then you bolt your front end and you swing onto it. Well, I'm so glad you brought it and thanks for talking to us uh, today. It's, it's always great to see something new. This is something, uh, a bit of the charge heads for sure. So no, looking forward to uh, hopefully seeing some more from you soon, buddy. Uh, yeah, I've got a Facebook channel, Electric Motorcycle Conversion. I've got a YouTube channel, Burnell 2.0. I don't really do social media that much because this is a part-time DIY thing. Yeah. But if I do do updates, you can find them on there. There we go. And thanks for... Uh, coming over and having a chat. No Appreciate worries, it. there we go. Give it a follow if you guys are into the, specifically the bikes and the EV conversion world. But thanks for, yeah, thanks for the uh, info and yeah, have a great day, mate. Thank you. So if you didn't watch the washout uh, video where this was actually canceled, this vehicle turned up and we did a great video on it. 
and um, went through all the details. So check that video out on that uh, previous video. Now I wasn't expecting to be front and center of the EV festival today. So a massive thanks goes out to Dave and everyone that's organized the event. But as you can see, there were some really exciting modified EVs and EV conversions. This is only the start. So I'm sure there'll be some more really cool events like this and uh, so good that the sun's come out this time round. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.